Hello and welcome to another open house. This this is a big build, which is Adam Cat's garage. Today I'm going to show you the rebuild of Adam Katz Clubhouse or the Red Rocket gas station. And what I wanted to do is scrap everything down to the dirt and rebuild it from the ground up. What made it easier is a mod I used by Vaultman111, which is Adam Katz Garage Player Home, which gives you access to a workbench which allowed me to do what I wanted. The initial idea of this was this would be a Red Rocket headquarters or like the main office that would have a full service garage, multiple service garages, office space, waiting areas, parking lots and things like that as opposed to just the single service station Red Rockets that we normally see in the wasteland. So as you come up here in the main gate, we got the Red Rocket sign and we got a couple Nuka-Cola rockets kind of serving the purpose of the Red Rocket vibe, I guess, for a gate entrance. Now as you come in, you see this little slit here. And this is my high security for when you're coming in the gate. And as you look down inside, We've got rocket launchers and laser turrets kind of tucked back in there. So as you come in, you're just going to get lit up if you're not welcome. So that was the idea with that. Once I laid in the sanctuary road here, it's pretty high up because as the road that comes in is much higher than the actual build level of this place. And I wanted to build down on the ground where it originally was. So I needed to figure out how to get this road to go down. Uh, I really wish they had a sloped piece. That would be really cool. So I opted to use these little driveway sections from the pre-sanctuary, I believe, mods. So I used a bunch of those to kind of eventually slope it down to the level that I needed. As you see here, it veers off to the left into a parking area. I had this big section of area here towards the end of the build. I didn't know what to really do with it. So I decided, hey, why not put in a little parking lot? Landscaped here in the corner, nice grassy area to chill and take in the view across the water there. I used the black asphalt texture on this because I just thought it looked a little more parking lot-esque, I guess, with the old cracked blacktop asphalt look. And it kind of gives it a different color, different texture than using the same concrete on everything. I also used the light poles from the Capital Wasteland extras that you get when you buy the uh, VR Workshop uh, DLC. And those work great. I, I kind of like the look of those. They're simple, they're tall, and at night they give off a little more orange vibe and less of a pure white. I'm going to have to show you just kind of randomly things that just pop up. I'm not sure what order to do this in, so I'm just going to, the first thing I see, show you. Nice, perfect hedge that has been, I don't know, maybe the Adam Cats really keeping up with this hedge, making it look nice, including all these flowers. All the landscaping looks pretty good. So there must be a green thumb within the Adam Cats here. So as you come in here, got a little, I don't want to call it a speed bump, but a little walk area raised up. Use the roadway pieces up and the black and white checkerboard tile floor to make a walk area or a crosswalk maybe coming from the main office here over here on the left to a park. So 
once again, this was a large area property. And once I finished kind of the buildings and stuff, I had all this empty space, so I wasn't sure what to do with it. So I figured some kind of waiting park. Got the statue here, dog meat, and power armor. Got some tables here where you can relax. Got a little seesaw for the kids. And a nice little bench area here, deck, which looks out to the water and this little beach area. Just kind of a cool little hangout spot. I thought it would be kind of cool to have this area here. Okay, as we come back up here, we will head straight across this little checkerboard crosswalk area into what I'm thinking is a main office for service or whatever. So we got the waiting chairs here, got the desk maybe to set up the service, got some uh, power armor here to show off, got some coffee, some Nuka Cola and donuts for the guests here. So just your typical service office and a little waiting area here with a little TV. Okay, so we'll come back out of the office here so we can go back out, get more exterior. You see some junk cars stacked up. We got uh, somebody's pickup truck, maybe a parking spot for the manager of the service. Now when I started this whole build, I basically scrapped everything. I wanted to completely start from scratch. And I knew there was this Red Rocket office, or uh, building, I guess you would say. And also the, the traditional Red Rocket with the giant red rocket and the little outstretched roof here. More of the gas station look. So I was going to use those as the main red rocket buildings. So you get that red rocket vibe. As you come in, you see the main gas station red rocket. That's the first thing you see. And as you turn this corner here, you see the surface office there and then the actual garages where all your work is being done. I started with one garage and then added another and now I have three. Because so I wanted one to work on cars like this one here. Then we have a double work area for power armor and another single power armor work station here. This is just off the office here. Got the checkered stripe here on all the driveway sections, I guess, that would lead in. Thought that was kind of a cool look to have the checkerboard there. And then the red poles right next to it to keep with that red, white, and black color scheme. this I started to add a lot of the clutter I like to keep the, the garages look worked in lots of junk lots of clutter laying around but like I said I was reaching a point where my build limit is probably surpassed because I have the no build limit mod but that only works so far because my little PS4 console can only handle so much. So I wasn't able to add as much junk in here as I would like. And as usual, my builds start out pretty normal and then I get carried away and then they get too big and then I can't finish them because I want to add too much junk and it's 
it's trying to render all this stuff. So we have the garages here, that's where all the work would be done on your power armor. Take you out this back door here. And this would lead out to this back portion. And just another place to store some junk. So we'll head back in to the garage. front area here, the garages and stuff, would actually work on other people's power armor, not just Adam Katz. And once again, keeping with the whole red, white, and black red rocket motif and the checkerboard for the Adam Cat hot rod feel. Now, one more thing over here. Next to the service garages, we have this little uh, covered pen where they store some of the old power armor or maybe power armor they are working on or needs work. Anyways, they can store them there. And just off of that, you can see all the junk. More of a, a junkyard look. Keep it more of Adam Katz clubhouse. So once again, kind of a combination of new and old mixed together. Sometimes I like to build it clean and sometimes I like to make it look junky and used up, more uh, post-apocalyptic. So as you head into the gas station here, we have a gun shop where Adam Cats are also selling some modified weapons or any ammo or weapon supplies you might need. They're making some extra money doing that too. So this is the full gun shop that would rival the one in Diamond City, I think, or I wanted to make it like that. So full weapon supplies where they can sell, trade, or work on it. Plenty of weapons. We've got a weapons workbench here. We have a little uh, security office here, which was going to also have a bathroom. But every time I tried to place a wall here with a door, the, the game would crash. So I don't know, this little spot here, for some reason, as soon as I try and build or use the Place Anywhere tool, it crashes. So this poor guy working in the security office, he just has a full-on toilet bathroom just right there in his office. No privacy. So that's the, the gun shop. Because I wasn't sure at first what to use this extra area for since I already had the office service area and I didn't really want to do like a player home. I wanted to keep that for the Adam Katz clubhouse, so I kept those separate. And back to the Red Rocket gas station, which still has the pumps here. We have the checkerboard little walkway speed bump thing. Coming over here to this stage. Adam Katz taking the poetry night to a whole new level. This crazy stage, we got fog machines going, got the lights, got the amps here, and the microphone. So I thought since it's the Adam Katz garage, you know, they probably have maybe live music at times, but definitely their, their poetry night. Just a cool stage. We've got the soundboard here off to the side. You can see through here to the stage, so you can monitor that. And plenty of seating for all the Adam Katz and friends to watch the performance. I thought this little spot here under the Red Rocket roof overhang thing was a perfect spot to maybe uh, tuck the stage in. 
And once again, the stage is more of the post-apocalyptic build style. A little more junky with a little bit of modern flair to it, I guess you would say. But keep it within the realm of the Fallout universe, I guess. There's kind of a happy mix of both is usually what most of my builds have. So off the stage here, more junky cars, but then behind, we've got another little hidden mobile trailer tucked back here behind all the all the trees and stuff. Another junk collector, another hangout, and once again, lots of junk. I really wanted to load this up with more, more junk, more clutter, but I was getting too many crashes. The Red Rocket service station here is where the Atom Cats have their clubhouse, and this would be their main main clubhouse. <laughs> So the idea here was this was the cool place. Everyone wants to be an Atom Cat. As an Atom Cat, you are a beacon of cool in a world of not cool. Uh-huh. They're the coolest cats in the wasteland. I mean, look at this place. Who wouldn't want to hang out here and be part of the gang? And as you come in, more of the checkerboard floor, keep it that vibe, the red, white, and black. There's Zeke hanging out in his usual spot, as always, still in his power armor. But check out this bar, full bar here. And that guy's been polishing that bar for quite a while. I deleted the old counter and basically deleted everything, but he was still there hanging out doing his thing. So I made sure to build the bar right where he was at and where he was leaning. So when he does lean on the new bar that I built, it still looks like he's actually working at that spot. And I knew most of the Atom Cats would kind of hang around here because this is where their, their clubhouse originally was. It was a little bit different angle, but I was able to build this area without interfering too much with what they normally were doing, just walking around and hanging out. So we got the jukebox, of course. Some cool lighting there. Give it a little more of a nightclub vibe, which looks really good at night. Got the pool table. And off the side here for the bar, we have a storage room, which is stocked full of more beer, liquor, maybe some snacks, some yum yum eggs to eat with your beer. You have some more tables here to hang out maybe with your drinks. Got a couple of the bikes inside. bathroom here this is where Zeke would come and just drop a mega deuce after getting filled up with cram <laughs> Adam cat material all the way yeah now we're cooking and for entertainment purposes we got some video games here some arcade games to keep him busy Over here, as we get more into the living area, more of the common area, I guess you would say. And some couches, entertainment area, we've got the big screen TV. Dining table here where they can eat. Got a full kitchen where they can cook their food. So kind of a cool hangout area here as well. And just off the kitchen, we have a lab area where you can make your various 
concoctions here. And then I threw in a haircut chair there. You know, Adam Cat's got to keep their hairdo looking styled and cool. And just off of that, we have the gym. Keep in shape, lift weights. Got a little flat screen there. Stationary runner. Tucked back here, we got ourselves a nice little sauna complete with steam rocks and a bad case of mold on the wall towels I don't know what that is but when I deleted everything <laughs> I couldn't get rid of this so it just looks terrible it looks like black molds taking over the sauna the Adam cats need to clean this up used a little uh, portion of the I think that's the fire drum and then uh, the smoke there is the flamethrower tucked down into the ground there to give us a little bit of smoke or steam look And right over here is the Adam Cat's little Power Armor Museum where they kind of show off some of their uh, more spectacular paint jobs or builds and they just like to have their own little showroom here of Power Armor. And various helmets of course. There's a weird glitch with these display cases that sometimes the glass turns a shade of purple. Not sure why, but it's some weird glitch that's been happening lately a lot with anything to do with glass. Haven't quite figured that one out, so. Now these stairs here, actually this motorcycle and these stairs are in the same spot as the actual Adam Cat's home because they would walk up and down this area where the stairs were. So I, I replaced the stairs with these, which is more of the um, warehouse stairs, I guess. And this motorbike, the NPCs like to stop here and lean back and hang out. So I figured, why don't I put the motorbike there so when they lean back, they're actually leaning back up against something. Once again, I didn't want to interfere with what the NPCs were doing walking around. So. I put the stairs here leading up to the second level. We come up to the second level, we got a nice view here out the window. This would be where Adam Katz would be living, sleeping. So we got pretty standard rooms here. Nothing, nothing major. And another common area up here has more couches, more chairs, more tables, and why not throw in a giant screaming bear statue? Because you gotta have one in your in your clubhouse. Out the window, you got a nice view of the Red Rocket and the Red Rocket stage, which looks pretty good. Out the side door leads to a security post. You got a better vantage point of the area or the water. Have a laser gatlin here just in case you need to pick that up and start mowing down some super mutants or uh, feral ghouls. So as we head back in here, back into the living area. Got this other room here off to the side, another room. Maybe someone with a little more stature. Once again, has a nice view of the Red Rocket station there. Just off the stairs, when you first come up, we have the main bathroom here. All Adam Cats would use 
full shower, sink, toilet. Pretty nice and fancy for them. Okay, so let's head back down and we'll head out. Now off behind the Red Rocket gas station and behind off to the side of the Adam Katz clubhouse, we have a covered area that I thought this was uh, pretty cool to have as a walk path and off to the side we have more junk, maybe some living spaces. We got an old broken down bus here. We also have another mobile home spot. This would be more of a junk storage area for scrapping. And this path leads down to this pre-war bunker, which I thought would be a good spot to maybe house a couple more people. Heavily armed security office, a couple beds here. Nothing, nothing fancy, just pretty basic. We have a rocket launcher turret here. It's kind of a combination of the rocket launcher turret and the, uh, what is that? Like a big uh, brewing tank or whatever. I thought it gave it a little more menacing size to the whole turret. And I placed these all over the island. Yeah! If we go back down the path, the, the covered path, past the mobile home, we have another little walkway here that goes to this extended bridge. Which goes up to the Diamond City Radio or Adam Katz's own personal clubhouse radio station. Which goes up to ideas like this is just the little radio tower that has turned into the Adam Katz radio studio. Maybe even their live broadcasting, their, uh, their poetry nights. So that's the Radio Shack Radio Tower. We'll head back here down the path again. And just off here in the back, we have the basketball court. And this I wanted to build much more post-apocalyptic, unused, unmaintained. Give it a little more of a Fallout 4 vibe, I guess, rather than the, the pre-war clean look. But I don't imagine the Adam Cats being huge basketball players, so it's not used too often. And as we go down the beach here a little more, we've got a little beach shack. This, I think, would be another spot where someone would stay, but more of a, a fisherman vibe and junk collector but definitely kind of a cool spot to hang out or maybe uh, get away. It's got a nice view of the water, got all your fish, got your barbecue, pretty cool hangout, especially at night. So this pretty much concludes the tour of the Adam Katz Clubhouse garage. I don't know what you'd call it, settlement. It's the other thing, I can't really get any settlers to come here. I'm, I don't think the mod is allows that, which is unfortunate because I would love to load this up with NPCs and then dress them up in the Adam Katz outfit and really make this a fully loaded, lived in 
settlement of just all Atom Cats. I think that'd be cool. But like I said, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It is a, a lot larger than I initially planned. It was just going to be a simple garage with their clubhouse, but then I turned it into this whole service area with roadways and parking lots and waiting areas and more junk cars and a big old music stage and it just kind of snowballed from there. I think it looks pretty good. Adam Cats are my favorite character in the Fallout universe. In fact, I'd love for them to come out with an Adam Cats, you know, maybe quest. Just don't be a spaz, okay? You got a reputation to uphold, you know? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. And until next time.